Oh, new story. Welcome. Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you are still fixing computers for a living. When are you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. Okay, Ricky. Now we are going to the vanilla club, the strip club where Trevor is. Apparently, the new owner, I have no idea how he has done that, but let's find out, you know. Let's go to Trevor's office. Where? Oh, never mind. I think it's, I think it's this way. Maybe this, oh, there, there we go. Wow, I've never been to this place. I guess it's the dressing room. And there is Trevor's office. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this is actually happening. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. Huh. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score. And then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. <laughs> but always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. Holy so, shit. John, let's do our civic duty and get out let's of here. That's, that, I guess that's what criminals cream, uh, dream let's about. And cream pie over <laughs> the big one. Oh, there is the old manager. Holy shit. Trevor, wipe that guy out as well. He is not messing about. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibes. Alright. Okay, this is the place. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a mm. couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Okay. I'm going there. Mm. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? <laughs> Trevor, come on! Well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. Okay, come on, Lester. 
Let's go. Oh man, what a mission this is going to be. Can't wait. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something we can help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad. Bustin' Brad out of the clink. I need to talk to Michael about it. Oh, fuck. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. <laughs> okay, so we arrived at the airfield. Now let's get into the helicopter the and let's see what we can do. Schedule, Come on. Oh my god, Lester. Are you kidding me? You're that slow? Shit. Come on, bro. Okay, here we go. Nice. We are away. Oh, this is Be a nice careful, fast man. chopper, right? I like it. We'll trip an alarm. Good boy. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. You are flying in restricted airspace. Turn around immediately. It's quiet enough oh, that shit. any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24/7, waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the U. And that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice. Once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna oh, wow. find someone Good willing plan. to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with him, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. Nice. Really nice. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I like for? this. I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Nice. I'm right above them. Where are they going? The other way. They are going the other way, right? What about here for the job? Yeah. Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Bye! Oh, I'm right above them. Get up the cars. Right on time. Hey, mm. did I? Way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 inside. Stand by. Holy shit. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Okay. Looking for a big asshole. Big asshole. <laughs> construction entrance. I think it will be here. That's the excavation. I need you to hold the chopper above it while I take there a look. There we go. 
I'm just above it. Ah, yeah, that'll do. Oh, nice. No hints at supporting structures for the vault walls. Hold here. Oh, okay, I'm holding. We've got information to collect. Get back to the excavation. Looks pretty feasible. No steel supports. All right, I think I've got enough information to work with. Okay. That was a good job. Oh man, preparing this biggest heist is just absolutely insane. So, uh, providing either of these ways into the bank works, the armored cars are the big hole in the ground. How are we gonna get the metal out? That's the 20% of $200 million question. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Michael? Take Franklin to his house, okay. I will do that. 